Hello and welcome to this A-level chemistry video where I'm going to take a look at the AS paper one. Specifically, I'm going to be looking at which topics you should prioritise as the exam gets closer. This has been done based on an in-depth analysis of every AQA AS paper one that there has been. And I'm hoping to help you to answer the following questions. First of all, which topics come up the most often? Are there topics that are worth more marks than others? Is there a topic that simply comes up every single year? And are there any parts of topics that are worth more than others? Before deciding which topics you need to prioritise, it's important to understand what could be assessed on paper one. Paper 1 is physical and inorganic chemistry, and as such, all of inorganic chemistry can be assessed, and most of physical chemistry can be assessed, with the exception of the kinetics topic. And that's true for the entirety of the paper, which is worth 80 marks, and there will be 65 short answer questions and 15 multiple choice questions. One way of deciding on your priorities is to look at which topics have been tested on a year-by-year -year basis. Of the nine AS Chemistry Paper 1s that there have been, there are four topics that have been assessed as part of the long answer questions before the multiple choice every single year. And those are amount of substance, atomic structure, bonding and the halogens, so that is group seven. So when deciding on your priorities, this is a really good place to start because there are always written response questions for these topics. Every year, some topics are worth more than others on a particular paper. And so I've decided to look at which topics are in the big three each year. So what I mean by that is more of the marks were available for those three topics that year than any of the other topics. And amount of substance is consistently in the big three. Eight times out of nine, it was worth the most marks on a paper. Six times out of the nine papers that there have been, atomic structure and bonding made up the rest of the top three most important topics on the paper. And you can see actually there's quite a bit of a gap to the fourth place, which is energetics and equilibria, tied for three times in the top three out of those nine years. Probably the best indication of which topics you ought to prioritise comes from the average number of marks available for a particular topic each year. And in this instance, there is an absolute clear winner. The amount of substance topic is on average worth 19 marks out of 80 each year. So on average, just under a quarter of the marks come from the amount of substance topic. Then next on the list comes the atomic structure topic worth on average 15 marks out of 80 each year. So nearly 20% of the marks for this topic. And then in third place is the bonding topic. 12 marks on average each year from that topic, 15% of the total marks. And if we consider the grade boundaries for both 2024 and on average across those nine papers, those three topics at the top of the page would have got you 46 marks on average if you picked up all of the marks just from those three topics alone and no other marks on the rest of the paper. And that actually would have been enough to get you a grade B from just those three topics. If we look down at the fourth place on the list, which is the group seven, nine marks on average each year, that would take us up to a total of 55 marks, which would have been enough to get us a grade A on average and in 2024. And so that means just from those four topics out of nine, we could get a grade A even without other marks on the other five topics, which you'll, of course, pick up some marks on those topics as well. This graph is showing both the total marks across those nine papers, but also the spread of marks on a year by year basis, where the dark blue colour at the bottom of each column is 2016 and the dark green at the top of the column is 2024 and the different coloured bars are for the years in between. What you can see here is, as you would expect, 
amount of substance is definitely the biggest column. And you can also see it's assessed fairly consistently across those nine papers with a good size bar for each of those colours. As we work our way to the right, you can see that, of course, the bar goes down. There are fewer marks available for these topics, but additionally, it becomes a little bit more hit and miss about whether there'll be many marks available for this topic in a particular year. And some of these are so few marks, it's pretty much only referenced on the multiple choice questions. So they didn't appear in the written paper questions at all. And you can see actually in 2024, there were no marks available for chemical equilibria and KC on AS Chemistry Paper 1. And so that would be something that you might think might be worth more marks in 2025 if we assume that it might get a bit more emphasis because it wasn't on the 2024 paper. You can split up the nine topics that could be assessed on paper one into 57 subtopics. And if we have a look at which of those subtopics carry the most marks, you can see that there is quite a clear winner in terms of the mass spectrometer theory and calculations is definitely the most important subtopic, making up on average seven and a half percent of every single AS chemistry paper one. And then next on the list comes titration analysis and concentration calculations, making up six and a half percent of an AS paper one on average. And closely behind that are shapes of molecules and bond angles with 6.2 percent. And then we've got reacting mass calculations and percentage by mass being worth six percent. And it's worth noting as well that of the 57 topics, actually 12 of these topics that I'm circling here would actually have been enough to get you on average 37 marks on an AS paper one, which is a grade C on average across those nine papers. So 12 out of the 57 subtopics would have been enough to get you a grade C on average on this paper. In conclusion, I should repeat that these deductions are based on an analysis of the past paper questions that there have been, and there is no certainty that this pattern will continue into the future. And so it's important that you do revise everything that is possible between now and the final exams. But obviously, as these exams get closer, you will want to prioritise. And I think from this video, you can see that there are definitely four topics that you should prioritise over the other five. And that's both when looking at the average marks across those nine papers and also the topics that are assessed the most frequently. And then there are definitely some subtopics worth more than the others. To help you with your revision, I've got some AS explanation videos linked in this description, but there are videos on my channel of all of the AS chemistry topics, including exam walkthroughs, so definitely worth checking those out to help you with your revision. Okay, good luck everybody.